I'm um, four miles north of Fairfax, Minnesota. In uh, we're in all directions, you're surrounded by monocultures of genetically modified corn and soybeans and a few sugar beets. And um, it's not only genetically modified; it's treated with uh, neonicotinoid. The crops are like the corn and soybean are growing with, grown with neonicotinoid seed, and the crops, the acre max, I believe, means it's uh, BT corn. The Roundup Ready means it's Roundup Ready corn. So uh, the average city folks would think, well, this must be a biological desert for pollinators. But uh, if you look closely, you'll see beetles and uh, bees and butterflies on the flowers right next to the monoculture, the on the growing on the roadsides and margins of the GMO crops. See the bugs. Now look at all these monarchs here. Three of them, if you look closely. One, two, three, and then there's one over here for four. There's a black swallowtail up this way, and a couple of alfalfa butterflies. And a skipper, there's the monarch, female. And the monarch. Alfalfa butterfly, and here's a black swallowtail. And there's a skipper, alfalfa butterfly, all in the same thing. The skipper is that little guy there. Monarchs. So unfortunately none of the uh, pollinator protection groups, they don't show the public videos like these. So that the, the only people that know that there's all these pollinators out here are the farmers. So there's a big disconnect between the what the farmers know and what city folks know. Yeah, I'm on a more rural highway north of Gibbons between it connects Gibbons, Minnesota with between um, going north from Highway 19 up to Highway 12. Anyway, um, here is a more intensive corn monoculture with a 360 degree view of corn monocultures, neonicotinoid treated corn, 
So I wanted to see, check out the uh, bee activity in this kind of a situation. I mean, I'm trying to think of the most intense corn monoculture possible. And right off the bat, see bumblebee. And plenty of honeybees. Where these honeybees come from, I have no idea because I don't know why anybody would have hives around here. And um, another bumblebee. third bumblebee honeybee if you're quiet you can just hear all kinds of bee activity Another bumblebee. Another bumblebee. Honeybee. And if you got ears, you can pretty well hear the uh, bee activity. These are thistles or nectarinon. Honeybee. So this flies in the face of what Dave, the English researcher Dave Goulson was saying that the neonicotinoids could be a threat to bumblebee populations because this is the most intense corn monoculture imaginable and yet we have the honeybees are, the bumblebees are abundant as well as the honeybees. Monarch. Painted lady butterfly.